Hey yo, what's good reader fam? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting some time to yourself and I hope that you're taking it easy. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and haul and this video is being sponsored by Redbubble. If you weren't aware of the fact that I'm madly in love with Redbubble, then where have you been? Our wedding is set for May and you're invited. I'm partnering up with them on a holiday gift guide because believe it or not, the holidays are near. Before you know it, people are gonna start jingling their bells. Houses everywhere are gonna start getting lit and Santa Claus is gonna start ho 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 in. If you don't know anything about Redbubble, it's a platform full of products with a wide variety of unique designs. They've got mugs, socks, tote bags, clocks, shirts, and so many other products. There's constantly new designs being uploaded on the site, so they're always keeping it fresh. And I love when things keep it fresh. I've curated a list of items that I would love to see under the Christmas tree when I wake up on Christmas morning, but instead of waiting for Christmas morning, I kind of jumped the gun and treated myself. So today I'm going to share with you all the items that I picked up. Redbubble hooked up ReaderFam with a discount code, so if you see any items that you want to grab today, you can get 15% off your order using the code rbc h 19 jessie the reader. That code is valid from now all the way to December 31st. Let's get to the part where I act like it's Christmas and I open all these gifts that Santa brought me, aka me. I'm Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is going to be a bit of a book lover's Christmas guide because I'm trash for book related things and that's pretty much all I picked out. <laughs> I'm going to start out small and work my way up. Yeah. Ooh, I know what these suckers are. Socks, 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 socks. I got myself some bookish socks. It's easy for your feet to get cold during the winter time. So socks, Whoa, I flung that sock real far. Socks! So socks are always the answer. I was interrupted by flinging a sock. The first design that I have here is one that has a bunch of blue books on it. Some are open, some are closed, and I really like it. It's kind of got a nice classic style to it. This is the second design, and it has a variety of different colored books on it, and they're all against a beige background. And then lastly, we kind of have this greenish, blueish color. Bit of a mixture there, and a bunch of opened books on top of it. All these socks have a full-on book party happening on them. I feel like with these socks, I can officially join in on those Sockstagram, Bookstagram pictures that people post on like Sunday or something because now I've got some exciting bookish socks in my life. These are actually a new product that Redbubble offers and if you couldn't tell, I am obsessed. Catch me buying all my socks from Redbubble. So I think I'm gonna go with a big one now because I think I know what this one is and I want it. I want it now. My patience has gone out the window. I love this so much already. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It's just this pullover sweater that says I'd rather be reading, but it just looks so nice. It's so simple yet so chic. I've never used the word chic in my entire life and I kind of want to take it back, but I'm not going to take it back. It looks super simple and chic. I got this sweater so people can read it and stop approaching me because why would they want to talk to me when I would just rather be reading instead of talking to them? <clears throat> I mean, I love talking to people. People are great. But no matter the situation, just know that I'd always much rather be reading. Am I alone here? Am I a bad person? Am I the only one that feels this way? Next up, we're going with this. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here because I am Santa and Santa knows his gifts. <laughs> I love this so much already, you guys. Look at this water bottle! It says the Outdoor Book Readers Club on it. I have gotten this design on a sticker before, but I felt like I needed it on a water bottle. And I'm so glad that I got it because I love this so much. You know, the world is dying and plastic water bottles are not helping. So it's about time that I invest in a solid water bottle. Catch me out here being fake woke, but I mean, seriously, come on. Every little bit counts, guys. I'll admit I'm not really a part of the Outdoor Book Readers Club because I really only read inside in my bed where there are no bugs. But maybe I'll try to read outdoors more so I can join the official Outdoor Book Readers Club and not just be some poser that has the logo on a water bottle. I just love this design so much though. I love that the tint is in the shape of a book and I love the stars and it almost makes me want to go camping. Almost. I make it sound like I hate the outdoors when I really enjoy being outside. I just don't love reading outside. I'm not there yet. I'll get there someday. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Ah. I'm already so happy with everything I've gotten. I think I'm going to open this one next, which I think I know what this one is too because I am Santa. Hear me roar in the form of a ho ho ho. <laughs> I was right, Santa knows all. So this is an acrylic block that says Rider, a magical creature that converts tea into other worlds. I'm currently participating in NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month. And so far it's going pretty well. I am doing daily updates on my second vlog channel. So if you wanna go and check that out, I will leave a link down below in the description. So I decided to get myself a little inspirational acrylic block in hopes that every time I look at it, I'll be inspired and stay motivated. I do wish it said coffee instead of tea because that's more my forte, but I still really love this. This is another one of my favorite products that Redbubble carries. I have quite the collection going. I have a problem and that problem is called acrylic blocks. But I just love using these as little decor pieces around my house. Next we've got this one which I'm honestly not sure what this one is so let's find out together. Santa forgot. There's just a lot that I have to remember okay. I have a lot of gifts to deliver to a lot of children. I'm talking as if I'm really Santa. Anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no idea what this is. Oh, I remember what these are. They're coasters. Ooh, look at those. Those are so nice and clean and sleek and we love, we stand. Yes to this. The coasters that I got say read good books and ask hard questions. I can always use coasters. In fact, I don't use coasters enough. Like when I'm filming in front of my bookshelf and I have a cup of water, I usually just set it on my bookshelf, which is probably not the best thing to do. I finally have something to protect my bookshelves from cup sweat. It's about time I invest in something to protect my bookshelf babies. Next up, I've got this little envelope, which I know for sure what's in this because I accidentally opened this before filming the video. <gasps> How dare you? I forgot that I had things coming. My bad. Let me do a fake unboxing right now. Whoa, what could it be? Whoa, there's bookish stickers inside. <sighs> I had no idea. I always love getting stickers from Redbubble. This one says to read or not to read. Not even a question. You got that right. Then we've got this one that says all this reality is really cutting into my reading time. Relatable. Then I've got this one that says the Society of Sloth Readers, which I want to be a part of the Society of Sloth Readers. I'm just not slow enough to fit in, which I'm honestly okay with that. And then finally, I just got this cool design of like a mug kind of being mixed in with a book. I just thought it was kind of neat and I had to have it because I'm trash for books and coffee. <sighs> Ooh, there's two things in here. One of them is kind of ridiculous, so I'll start with that one. The item itself is not ridiculous, but the reason I got it is pretty ridiculous. As you can see, it's a pouch with a bunch of books all over it, and I'm actually really impressed with the quality. Like, it feels really nice. Let's check out the zipper. Oh yeah, that was satisfying. Again, I kind of picked this up for a really dumb reason, so don't laugh at me. Don't make fun of me. I needed a solid place to start storing my bookmarks. I know, it's a first world problem. Oh, he didn't know where to put his bookmarks anymore. He just has way too many bookmarks. The struggle is unreal. Right now, I just have all my bookmarks just kind of chilling, sitting in a drawer. But when I saw this, when I was browsing the Redbubble website, I was like, I gotta get that for my bookmarks. This isn't even all the bookmarks. I just grabbed a handful out of my drawer. But look, they have a home now. My problem has been solved. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Please don't make fun of me. This is a game changer. Talk about life changing, life altering. Who knew a pouch could come through and change my reading life? Also, speaking of bookmarks, Redbubble really needs to start offering bookmarks. I'm just saying. That's a product I'd love to see. The last thing in this package is it's a tote bag with a little bookshop on it. Because what's more ironic than going to a bookstore with a bookshop on it? A lot of things probably. I've been realizing how useful tote bags can be recently, especially when I went to the library recently and checked out a bunch of books and looked outside and it was raining. And guess what I ended up doing? I put the books under my shirt and carried them to my car because I didn't want them to get water damage. Gotta protect the books and hopefully this will help me protect the books. Also back to being fake woke. Plastic bags are bad for the environment, dudes. So invest in a tote bag to save the world. Hey, it's time for the last box. Let's Let's open this sucker up. I'm kind of sad that my fake Christmas is already over. Oh, there's three different packages in here though. I'm gonna go with this one first. Ooh, she's beautiful. Look at her. I've been meaning to get a new laptop case for a while now, and when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. It was love at first sight. As you can see, it's a bookshelf full of red and gold books, and it's full on serving that Gryffindor pride. So I had to have it. My laptop will finally have a new home to rest in. And it's pretty comfy in there, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could just chill in there. If you didn't know, the laptop case is actually double as hats. So if you really wanna make a fashion statement, grab yourself a laptop case and put it on your head. Next, I'm gonna go with this one. I I think I know what this is. I'm pretty sure these are some art prints that I picked out. <laughs> I was right. I got two artboard prints. The first one I got is this one, which honestly, this color palette doesn't really fit my vibe, but I really love this art piece. It says on it, in case of emergency, break glass. And as you can see, it's got some books in the background and it's got some tea there, which again, get that tea out of here and bring me some coffee. I feel like this bookcase is something that like hotels or something needs. Like if I forget a book while traveling, then I can just run to this emergency bookcase. Problem solved. Then I got this small print here that says books and coffee on it, which honestly, do I need to explain why I got this? Probably not. But if you couldn't tell while watching this whole video, I love books and I love coffee. That's why I got it. I mean, other than the books and coffee part, I also just really liked this design. All right, we have reached the last box, which I bet you can't guess what's in here. Or can you? <laughs> As you can see, the last thing that I got is a mug and it says eat, sleep, read on it. Which, hello, that's my life. I honestly have too many mugs and I don't really have room for another one. I've been holding myself back from buying bookish mugs, which if you didn't know, I have a full on bookish mug collection. But then I saw this one and I just loved it and I had to have it. So now I have it. <laughs> Welcome to the family, bud. Did I really just say that to a mug? I did. Mm -hmm. It is a really simple mug, but I just couldn't help myself. It's beautiful. 
I keep doing questionable things. I need to stop. Santa is being weird. That's another weird thing I'm doing. I'm referring to myself as Santa. All right, guys, that's it for my Redbubble unboxing and haul. These are all the things that are on my Holiday Book Lovers gift guide, which again, I have showcased on their own page, which I will leave a link to down below in the description. And again, if you want to pick up something for yourself from the Redbubble website or a gift for a friend, you can get 15% off your order using the code RBC-H19-JESSETHEREADER. I'll leave that down below in the description as well. You guys should let me know down below in the comments which of the things that I showed today was your favorite. I mean, I know it's ridiculous, but I'm excited about this pouch, okay? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your day is bright, that tomorrow is brighter. Keep reading what your heart desires, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-o!